Hello and welcome to Tea Viva, a monthly program for finding out some of the great things going on in Fall River. I'm your host, Patty Rigo, director of Viva Fall River, which is an organization that draws on the city's unique and diverse assets to make Fall River a pre premier South Coast destination. Our mission is simple, to support and advance efforts for economic revitalization. What does that mean? Well, that means what makes the city thrive, a strong local economy, an engaged community, and a vibrant arts and culture scene. It's also our goal to make sure that we get the word out about positive things happening in the city and inform people of events and inspire people to get involved with their community. And that's why we're here. T Viva is going to be a show where we start to write a new story for Fall River, one that focuses on progress and encourages city pride. Love where you live, right? So that's the what and the why, and now I'd like to introduce you to the who. My very first guest and my colleague, Ashley Okino, Executive Director of the Fall River Arts and Culture Coalition, also known as FRAC. Hi, Ashley, thank you so much well, for being Patty. my first guest. Well, thank you so, so much, and I'm really pleased to be here, and um, FRAC, wow, like what an awesome organization. I just want to take a moment to let the viewers oh, know what, what is what is FRAC? What, what does that mean? So the Fall River Arts and Culture Coalition was actually formed in uh, 2019. Um, and so now a few years later, this uh, really, it's an open source organization and we have about, I think like 143, 140, wow. because we just picked up some new members this week. I believe we're now up to 146 um, active members wow. that are, yeah, I know, right? The number just keeps growing. And, and so that's these, what we want. Of course we do. We want everyone to be a part of it. And by everyone, I mean, you know, uh, whether you're an organization, if you, if you work at an organization, or if you work here in the city, if you own a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a creative, whether visual or performing arts, come come see us and and even you may not even know you're an artist you may not even know or or if you just want to like you said we just want to see positive things mm -hmm. happen and we want to reflect you know all of the good that's that's happening from these folks that Absolutely. i just mentioned so um you know we're really proud of our our open source commitment to to sharing resources and, and assets and uh really working to uplift each other and and ultimately at the end of the day um, like you said, your mission, our mission is to just support arts and culture and the creative economy here in Fall River. You know, we want to make it the best place to live, work, and play. Um, so that being said, our members do get together. If I just, oh, I yeah, don't know if absolutely. I can mention it now, but our members get together. We have a monthly meeting, and our monthly meeting happens the second Monday of the month. So we have it at rotating locations, and... Um, we always post that information on a few different places on the amazing Viva Fall River website. Uh, we also <laughs> post it through our newsletter, which I can give you the information later how to sign up for. And we have an Instagram too, if you go and look for Frac. And, You're down and we with can, Instagram. and we can, yeah, put no. that information up hmm. as well. And our Instagram continues to grow. We're we're well over two hundred followers. Oh, that's great. I mean, you haven't really point. been doing it for too long. And no, it's new. We're new. So you came on in January, and and one of the first initiatives you, that you jumped right into was South Coast Spring Arts Week, which yeah. is for the viewers uh, May sixteenth, uh, May sixth, excuse me, sixth through the fifteenth of this year. It's a ten day festival celebrating arts and culture in our community, and it connects um, innovative, creative, and the most important part affordable, accessible arts and cultural events in communities across the region, yep. from Fall River to Wareham. Um, just a little bit of background, originally launched in 2021. Um, the reason that this became, um, you know, came to life was that um, Art Week Massachusetts, which used to be presented by the Highland Street Foundation and produced by the Bosch Center, uh, COVID kind of put a little bit of a wrench in those yeah. plans, like it did a lot of things. And um, there were a lot of really engaged arts and culture organizations in the South Coast who said, hey, let's do our own thing, which I'm always on board. And right? I know you were too. I was. Even though we weren't working together no. at the the time but um, I just think it's a great collaborative effort that shows the strength of the South Coast arts community mm. and I think this year is it 67 events yes perhaps even maybe a little bit more I think I might uh -huh. be missing a few but um, but before I forget those can be found on South Coast spring arts.org but um, for me what we're here to talk about is fall river arts and culture and I'm thrilled to see so many more events this year than last year yeah and I thought that maybe we could go through a few for the viewers because of course I want to highlight you know what all, all our wonderful partners are doing. 
Sure. Um, so the first one I, I picked up was the Her Heritage State Park, which is just an amazing resource in general. Love that place. Yeah, and they have um, a roster of events happening through May. They always have so much going on, in, like every month. I mean, that's there's no shortage of things. Every day, daily, they have things for people. Um, but the, for this specific initiative, I think it's um, they have exhibits ongoing from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, and they have a really interesting Native American program, which I'm really excited about because a lot of the times, you know, we focus on, you know, Portuguese culture or mm -hmm. or different uh, cultural influences, textiles, and those. But we, you know, who had the land first? Right. And it's the Wampanoags. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, and so this is a they're presenting a multimedia celebration of the city's earliest Picasso Wampanoag history, featuring featuring a 17th century diorama. I don't know about you, but I love a good diorama. <laughs> Um, and it's Absolutely. of a Wampanoag village along with the iconic Quekishan waterfall, which I, we all know, we're going to talk about the Quekishan waterfall a lot in this program, I think. Yeah. Um, by, and this is by David Jennings, who is a local historian. And there's also um, photography and a gallery talk with local artist Sheila Oliveira, who uh, she's absolutely mm, wonderful wonderful and oh and something that we're going to yeah I, I think we're still going to yep, that um yeah it is um it, it's happening saturday next saturday may 7th from 12 30 to 3 30 and also on sunday mother's day perfect mother's day gift yep. 12 30 to 3 30 again sunday may 8th it's with our friend and amazing uh regional artist Rhonda fazio yes and the um the workshop is called dying to wear it but dying like dying clothes not like you know you know. It's a play of words. <laughs> I love it. I appreciate it. I like a good. I like a good play. <laughs> but it's an interactive workshop where participants will create a beautiful piece of art, and, and that you can um, that are, that it will be done in a very, um, you know, uh, like a style that um, is more like historical. You know, using natural materials. And we're going to talk about. And, and Rhonda is very knowledgeable on Native American history, so she's going to tie that into culture. So basically, the whole idea is creating community through color. Yeah. I'm really excited. She's an amazing resource about natural dyes and information. That's going to be a really fun workshop. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. And yeah. so you can find that information either on Dyer Maker Studio, which is D-Y-E-R, DyerMakerStudio.com, or um, you can always find these events and many more. I'm going to do this plug again. Mm -hmm. www.VivaFallRiver.com, <laughs> um, where we have a, a citywide events calendar, if you didn't know, that has um, many, many many events that are happening in the city, more than you probably realize. Um, and then we're also gonna mention that um, Craftiest Shop, which is on a 9 North Main Street, they have a variety of drop-in workshops for all ages. One of them, uh, tie-dye aprons, quahog shells. So it's just some really fun, fun. things, low, low cost, $5. Fun. And then, well, this is like one of the big things, Fall River Open Studios. Yes. And that's part of this year's Fabric Arts Festival, which is presented by you. The, the, the FRAC is presenting the Fall River Open Studios. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that and what it is and what we can expect to see on Friday, May 13th, Friday the 13th, mm -hmm. and Saturday, May 14th. Yes. Yeah, I am very, very excited and honored that, you know, Fabric reached out to FRAC and, you know, we really got to build a nice partnership as um, this program was put together as, as part of their overall programming for that uh, event. So Fall River Open Studios, there are 10 locations that are participating all over the city, which is wonderful. And these locations um, are, are different. Um, some are, are mills, um, some are more, I would say, uh, a, a storefront business, like mm -hmm. Craftyish, for example, that you just mentioned, is also participating in open studios. Um, but even BCC Gallery, um, FR MOCA. So all of these places are, are open. And um, for example, the Fall River Art Association oh. is gonna have some programming as well that space. will be free. So there's, not just the makers opening up some really amazing cool spaces that you get to take a peek inside and and just kind of see their process you can ask them questions and um also just get to participate in some hands-on stuff that's really fun i always like to see places that you're not ordinarily able to go yeah. to so i mean some of them like smokestack studios which is in one of the mills on yes. anawan i mean i remember going there and you feel like you know you're part of like this is where people spend their time and it's filled with, with the, just the energy of creativity and they couldn't be more um more generous with their oh, time oh i'm so, so excited yeah, and it I'm was really wonderful excited. just you know just from coming in as you mentioned 
mentioned I started in January. So coming in and meeting all the different people who run these studios and, and learning about the spaces. It's a like great way for you to get Shane, to know them Shane as well. Landing, Rocks mm -hmm. Art. I mean, uh, it's been it's been wonderful, and they've all been so generous in being willing to participate. And so I do encourage you to come out on Friday the 13th. It's it's a spooky day, but a really fun no, time. It's gonna be great. From 4 to 8 p.m., the spooky. open studios will be happening, and then on the Saturday from 10 to 2. So there's two different opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of information. Look for our really fun and brightly colored. Uh, we have a trifold map. <laughs> we have some postcards that are floating around town. Um, you can also find that information on VivaFallRiver.com. VivaFallRiver.com. On the arts and culture section, actually did a wonderful job. And you yeah. can actually, what I loved about that page too is you can learn a little bit more about each of the studios. I mean, you don't have to go to each and every one. Mm -hmm. We would love you to. And Really, there's no reason you shouldn't. But if you know, it, I loved that you could get to know a little bit more about these people because I do. I hear that all the time. I didn't know that was there. I didn't know this, and that's why we're doing TV. Viva, I really. made it really easy for you to to get to these studios. And so when you go to the website, or if you if you pick up any of these brochures, there's a Google Map that's right there. And so if you just scan the QR code with your phone, or mm -hmm. if you go to the website, it just it puts it right into Google Maps for you. And it will you can just either walk because a lot of the locations actually yeah. are walkable to each other um, or you can drive through the city and it's it will be a really wonderful and it's supposed to be good weather too I know so I think be. that you know <laughs> between all of the wonderful things that are, are happening with South Coast Spring Arts Week um, I'm I'm thrilled that that this is part of it and um, I hope to have more oh, in the future I hope that this is something of course that we're gonna do annually mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's it's wonderful and again thank you to fabric for uh, in, you know building this in as part of their really amazing, amazing lineup that Great they have. Great segue, Ashley, <laughs> to awesome. uh, the festival within the festival, I like to call it, Ooh. which is the Fabric Arts Festival, which this yeah. year takes place from Thursday, May 12th through Saturday, May 14th. Um, and this is the third edition of the festival. There's a lot to talk about, so if you get lost, I just want you to know that you can find out all this information on the festival's website, which is fabricfallriver.com, all and I'm just gonna begin with, you know, the I like to do the who, what, when, where, why. So the where and the is presented by, I'm gonna say this as Portuguese as I can, Casa dos Assores da Nova Inglaterra, which is a nonprofit or a cultural organization whose purpose is to promote educational, cultural, and social opportunities, as well as a cultural and touristic exchanges between the Azorian community in Southeast New England and the Azores. And that is exactly what the festival is about. It's a collaboration between our culture here, the, the diaspora of the people who've come here, and um, the uh, curatorial team in, uh, so so that that would be, the, the local aspect is led by um, founder and local business owner Michael Benavides in Fall River and the Portugal-based curatorial team of Jesse James and Sofia Carolina Botello. Um, this year, as you know, because you're working on it with it. me is that um, the theme is where we meet which I think is Love really it. great because um, you know we haven't been able to meet mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. way that we want to the last right. couple of years so this will be an invitation to look at Fall River as a place that was forged by uh, many different cultural experiences and it explores the way in which those cultures intersect so we have uh, a couple different um, areas and take a look for these mm -hmm these uh, brochures as well. Um, so there's visual arts and architecture, music, and there's also food experiences this year, which I'm really excited about some of the food experiences. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't like that? So I'm just gonna go through the, the program really quickly. Um, I mean, there I, there, I could go on and on and on, and I could do a whole show basically on the Fabric Arts Festival, but um, you know, I wanna focus on um, a couple of the nights, so May, thir May 13th, Sunday again, I mean, uh, Friday again, is gonna be a lot of the programming is gonna be at the Narrows. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's open studios there from four to eight, but yeah. then there's also a dinner that there is, um, there are still tickets on the Eventbrite. It's called A Table for Many, and the, the theme of it is called The Semiotics of Cod. So codfish is a very important cultural dish to the Portuguese, especially salted cod. And these two artists, João Pedro Valle and Nuno Alexandre Ferreira, are going to be doing like a performative participatory art dinner, which is really, you know, I, it might scare some people off, but I think it's gonna be no, super fun. Everything that you do is in, the fun, is in the spirit of fun mm -hmm. and just like really just wonderful expression. I'm really excited about this dinner. Um, so they're gonna be making bacalhau uh, abras, which is a very, 
you know, uh, basic dish, but it's gonna be done in a storytelling kind of way. And then right after that is, um, it's gonna be a double bill, um, Echi Kanli, who is a, a Turkish, um, she's, a, she's a Turkish artist who researches and does work in, and she lives in Porto. And she is, um, it's gonna be a very like, it's gonna be a little performative, I think, in nature. But then followed up by that is Noberto Lobo, who is a, a classical guitarist, but he is, um, he's a, a, a Portuguese treasure, really. I think it's really going to be um, an, an incredible juxtaposition mm. of two mm -hmm. different kinds of styles of music, but coming to, still representing the same culture, yep. but just showing the different facets of Portuguese culture. Be wonderful. And then, of course, Saturday. I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to gloss over this. Um, a big everybody who's watching this and everybody in the city and beyond is welcome to this fashta, which everybody knows is a, is Portuguese for party. Um, <laughs> and this is going to be at the Quickishan River Rail Trail, which is yes. nothing more accessible than that. I mean, I, I, I when I hear that people haven't been to the the rail trail, I'm just like. Why? I it's mean, it's such a treasure here in the city. Gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, and it's, I, I just love too how it's the, this nature. You see the swans, you see the ducks, but then the highway is right there. Mm -hmm. And so that that's always a, that urban paradise kind of feel is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And a so little oasis, yeah. It is an mm -hmm. oasis. Mm -hmm. That's that's a great way to look at it. Um, but it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not a mirage. No. <laughs> so um, there's going to be a picnic there, a fabric picnic. Um, we're going to have a couple food trucks. There's going to be um, a, like a DJ set by Principe Dishkus, and um, we invite people to bring their food. And there's also going to be the unveiling of a living wall, a mural being created under the underpass. Yes. Um, of course, so that's my favorite part. I mean, the food is. trucks. Oh, it's it's I don't know, Patty. That but I'm so looking forward to the wall, and I can't wait to see um, just how that space is is transformed um, into something that is just a little bit different than what's there now, um, but really well curated, I think. Oh, absolutely. You know, and yeah. I think too, it's um, you know, people. I, I hear a lot, and I mean, about graffiti, about mm -hmm. tagging. Mm -hmm. This is street art. I mean, there you can't. They're they're not all under the. You can't all label it as graffiti. Group it together. Yeah, sure. it's Absolutely. Street, street art. I mean, people. Street art has been happening since people were drawing on cave walls. <laughs> so we don't call that graffiti, do we? No. No. So I think you know this is going to elevate the conversation to a different level, and and maybe and I and I hope it gives a little bit more cred to these artists because they are artists. I mean, Absolutely You know, there are. are as in anything in life, there are going to be those people that take it to that tagging level, and you know, I, I, no judgment. But I think this is going to be a really, and, and it's a collaboration between a lot of different artists which I love a good collaboration yes, as you do yes um, and I'm so I don't even know what they're gonna be painting but I know it's gonna be gorgeous I can't wait to show up so once I'm done with like open studios and everything that we have going on like I'm, I'm that's there. gonna be our fun time yeah there. yeah and so then there's a concert at night too but I, I, I like I said I could do a whole show on it so I'm gonna skip to the next um, which is very important that we mention because it's an event that Viva Fall River and Frack are actually presenting for the community um, and it is the second annual we heart Fall River Festival and we're uh, in heart we emphasize the art um, and it's a fun collaborative event that celebrates all things arts culture and community in Fall River and so there's a lot to lot, lot to go through so let's buckle up here <laughs> and um, and so we have the first area is uh, the Viva Community Zone which is um, it's being I'm being kind of worked on with the city of Fall Rivers working with us, one of our partners. And we have free giveaways, um, activities, and resources from many social service organizations and just companies like um, we've got, let's see, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health is actually gonna be doing a vaccine clinic. I don't even think I told you that. Oh no, I didn't know that. I'm, we're already vaccinated, but you know. Um, the Department of Children and Families Foster Program, uh, the, the Fall River uh, Youth Violence Program prevention, really, really important group. Very mm -hmm. excited that they're in, involved. Uh, Serve Jobs for Progress, People Incorporated, and of course, Greater Fall River Recreation. All of these names and all of our partners can be found on vivafallriver.com um, and under the special We Heart Fall River page. Um, and then we also have the area that Frack is shepherding, which I am yes. like most excited, I think, about this area because it's, you know, kids' activities are fun and they sure. really do. I wouldn't say all kids. 
I mean, this is a little bit all ages. It is true. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. So, <laughs> what, what, can you tell us a little bit about it then? Because I would love to. So, where we're, we're so we will be at the Gramada Plaza area. And for those that don't quite, what, what the heck is that? <laughs> it, it's like where, everybody, <laughs> right? Well, we're gonna we're gonna get that into the you know into the oh my god you yeah. know the language going on here in town because it's it's actually a really wonderful space and I love how this event activates. Yeah. And so it's where all the flagpoles are located, right across from Government Center. And so within that space, we have a few different organizations that um, are going to be offering some really fun free activities and so huge shout out to organizations standing together yes absolutely. Um, they're gonna have an amazing love your selfie garden so so bring your phone maybe mm -hmm. a little selfie stick with you um, and the Children's Museum will be there offering some fantastic activities as well and we will have a, um, a, a spray paint art activity because yep. as we said it's a little it's an elevated art act Exactly, and uh, River Rocks will be there too. And am I missing anyone? We'll have huh? oh, laughing, laughing yoga. Yeah, laughing yoga and a story reading from one of my favorites, local author Joni Woodward, who um, does a great book about. Um, you know, teaching kids how to, you know, regulate their emotions, which oh, I, I honestly, I may not just <laughs> Again, I kids. said it's not just for kids. <laughs> <laughs> teaching me how to regulate my emotions. So, no, this is going to, I think it's going to be super fun, and I'm, I'm. Oh, ooh, and there's a special friend that you have that's coming to visit, too. <gasps> oh, my God, too. how did I forget? Mirabel from Encanto mm -hmm. is going to show up. It was really hard to get her to come. She's really busy these days. She's doing a lot of appearances around town, but she'll so, be there. It will be really fun. It will be really fun. Yeah. And so, I'm, I'm thrilled that Frack's involved. Yes, and thank you so much for oh, taking that on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then it's also the first day of the 2022 season for the Fall River Farmers and Artisans Market, which is something that I would definitely talk about more in the future um, because I'm super proud of it. We've grown since last year. There's going to be 35 plus artisans, makers, and specialty producers. And um, we're also going to have live music from uh, local treasure, Julia Corey. I wonderful. love her. The, from the Corey sisters oh, and the Corey family, really. Um, from 11 to 1, we're going to have a ton of food trucks. Mm -hmm. Um, so all that information and all the, the, the makers are going to be listed on the website as well. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, the Narrows is going to be presenting Pearly Baker, which is um, I, I secretly my inner teenager is so excited. <laughs> um, it is New England's premier Grateful Dead cover band for the last like 25 plus years. So they're going to be there. We also have Studio Life Performing Arts, which is a FRAC member. Yes, they are. Their kids are going to be doing uh, yeah. a, like a dance. The Fall River YMCA, which is very close to my heart. They're going to be doing Family Zumba. Love Zumba. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And we're also going to be um, and the, on Troy City Brewing is doing a beer garden, which is, a, you know, I don't think we've done one down there yet. So something new. And uh, that's for the adults. So there's not like you're right. All ages. All this ages. is all ages fun. And I just want to mention that the event is presented by the City of Fall River, Viva Fall River, FRAC, in partnership with the Narrows, Children's Museum, as you mentioned, Organization Standing Together, Troy City, um, Troy City Brewing, Fall River YMCA, Craftyish, and Studio Life Arts. And we, um, are, of course, are supported by the Massachusetts Cultural Council and the Fall River Cultural Council, both of which we would not be able to do this event no, without. No, thank you. Absolutely, and that only brings us to the middle of May. But we're gonna we're gonna start wrapping it up. Um, it's not even officially summer yet, and we're like this. I'm already a little tired by just talking about this. <laughs> it's so wonderful, though. I mean, it is just, wonderful, you know. And and it's so great that you have this platform here. And, yes, you know, and I'm we so can excited. talk about all of it and share it. But um, but there's also I I, I want to uh, each episode. I kind of want to go through what's going on in the month. So then the following weekend on the 21st, there's actually a bunch of events going on. Yeah. But one of them is is new. And and it's very exciting. It's an air-cooled car show and vintage bike show. So, and I'm, we're not talking bikes like motorcycles. We're talking BMX, low riders, cruiser bikes. They're gonna have activities for kids, food trucks, vendors, and that's from 10 to 3 at the Kennedy Park Skating rink and that is being organized by organizations standing together which we've mentioned a couple times mm -hmm. but they really are such an incredible organization that has the ability to mobilize resources and people in the city yeah and they're really just trying to bridge the community mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I love that I totally. love that I love anything with a bridge too um, and there's also like I said there's quite a few family friendly events there's a couple in downtown mm -hmm. um, block party from Greater Fall River Recreation Comic Con event at the library mm -hmm. And um, again, you can find all these events and more at the number one calendar of events from Fall River, <laughs> vivafallriver.com slash events. 
Um, and yeah, you know what? I should say, please submit events to us as well. Um, there's a community submission button there, and we need your help to make sure that we get an event, every event that's taking place in the city. You know, I mean, I, I scour the internet so that we can make sure we put them all on there, but there's You're a lot You're not a that robot. Misses. I'm not a robot. So, yeah, let no. us know what you have going on. And same same goes for FRAC, too. You know, as you as you submit events, you do have the opportunity to, to add different tags and information to it to, to kind of let us know what it is. And oh, so we're all, we're all it's, so it's happy awesome. to promote. It's so awesome, yeah. I mean, because I, I mean, secretly, I like to know what's going on. That's kind of how this all started is I have FOMO, <laughs> fear of missing out. So I need to know what's going on all the time. So it's my pleasure to be able to share that with the city. And that's one of the things I hear all the time is that, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. And there's really no, re there are plenty of things going on. We just, and now we have a platform for it. Sure. So, yep. um, and so I just, I want to give you an opportunity again to just um, say when the meeting is and sure. how people can get in touch with friends because I do think you do not have to be an artist. I just, no. you, let's say that one more time. Even if you just like attending cultural events or you just want to find a way to be involved in your community, this is a really fun group, no stress, casual, come. Or if you have FOMO, as you said. <laughs> so yes, I'm happy to share. So we have our, our May meeting is happening at Studio Life Arts, which you, Studio which you Life mentioned Arts again. In the Globe. Um, which will be on May 9th, and it's at 5 p.m. And so our June meeting will again be at 5 p.m. And all that information you can um, get in a few different places. So you can go on to Instagram, and I know Viva follows us on Instagram, mm -hmm. so you can always look for us that way. But I'm going to spell it out a little bit for you. So it's F underscore R underscore A underscore C underscore C. <laughs> so there's basically just an underscore in between each of the letters. Um, and, and you'll find us right there and lots of great information posted on there. But you can also email. Mm -hmm. And our email is F-R-A-C-C at one O-N-E spelt out southcoast.com. So frack at one southcoast.com is a great way to reach out and you can be added to our mailing list. Yep. Our e-news goes out once a month and try to make sure that the best, most relevant information is, is put in there for people. It's always chock full of information. It's actually an email that I open and I read, so. And you read the whole, and I know, you read, know, the whole, and I know you read the whole way down too, because like I said, it, it, it it's very well um, thought out and, and you know, a lot of care is kind of taken into. Yeah. Same thing with what's provided on our Instagram page. We don't just share to share, we share because it's a something that's caught our eye perhaps, or it's just something that the community needs to know. Absolutely. Like the art show at the high school the other night. Oh, that you know, was so that's, great. that's a great example right there. Go to, go to uh, Viva Fall River's Facebook page. You can see the album um, of pictures that I took. We're also on, you know, fa we're on TikTok now. You're too. on Facebook, everything. Instagram, TikTok, <laughs> YouTube. I'm doing them all. Vegas. <laughs> Oh, Ashley, thank you again for being my guest. I really I'm appreciate so it. I'm so pleased to be here. I felt so comfortable here. being with you. So oh, no, this you. was so fun. <laughs> and, and, you know, anytime I can talk about arts and culture. Yeah, and right? That's the fun stuff. That's, that's what I live for. Uh, so, well, that's a wrap, I guess, on our first episode of TVIVA. I hope to see you um, at some of these great events that we talked about. And please join me again next month where I'm going to talk about all the things happening in June. And there's going to be a lot of that stuff again. So until then, Viva Fall River. Woo! Ha, 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 ha.